Welcome to lines to go installation videos. Today we will be removing and installing brake lines on a 2003 Chev Avalanche with lines to go part number BLC-136-SS. While this particular installation is on a 2003 Chev Avalanche, this set of lines will also work on the following year, make and models as shown in your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment end forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made using 304L stainless steel for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors at the connections. Make sure to depressurize the fuel system before starting the installation. Tools required 7mm, 8mm, 13mm, 15mm, and 22mm sockets and ratchet. 5 sixteenths of an inch, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, and 14 millimeter wrenches, flat blade screwdriver, cutting pliers, a drain pan, floor jack, and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. Start by disconnecting the battery using a 5 16ths of an inch wrench. Raise the vehicle and remove all four tires using a 22 mm socket. You will also need to remove the spare tire from the vehicle. Remove both front inner fenders using a 7mm socket to remove the screws at the front and a flat blade screwdriver to remove the plastic push clips. Inside the left front inner fender, remove all four lines going to the proportioning valve using a 14 mm wrench. At the master cylinder, remove both the primary and secondary lines using a 14 mm wrench and remove the lines from the vehicle. Remove the threaded fitting from the left front flex hose using a 14 mm wrench. At the right front wheel, remove the threaded fitting from the flex hose using a 14 mm wrench. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove the brake lines from the plastic brackets along the frame. At the ABS module, remove all five lines using a 14 mm wrench. Remove the primary and secondary lines going to the ABS module from the vehicle. Remove the left front line from the vehicle. Using a pair of cutting pliers, cut the right front line at the front of the left front inner fender. Remove the rear section of the right front line going to the ABS module. Cut the right front line at the front of the right front inner fender and remove the line.
Underneath the front of the vehicle, remove the center section of the right front brake line from the plastic clips and remove the line from the vehicle. Using a 13mm socket, remove the two bolts securing the charcoal canister. Open the plastic clip securing the nylon vent line to the canister using a flat blade screwdriver. Lower the canister and remove the three lines at the front by depressing the two tabs on either side of the lines to remove them. Set the canister aside. Located at the top front of the fuel tank, disconnect the pressure and return lines from the nylon tank lines. Loosen the band clamps at the rear of the fuel tank using an 8mm socket. Remove both filler hoses from the fuel tank. Support the fuel tank and using a 15mm socket remove both bolts securing the fuel tank straps and remove the straps from the vehicle. Lower the rear of the fuel tank until you can access the electrical connectors on top of the tank and remove them. Continue to lower the rear of the fuel tank until it can be slid under the rear axle. This will allow the front of the tank to come down. Remove the fuel tank from underneath the vehicle. Remove the rear extension line from the top of the rear flex hose using a 14mm wrench. Cut the rear extension line in the center and remove the front and rear sections from the vehicle. To begin the installation of your new lines to go brake lines, start by installing the rear section of the rear line labeled 05B into position. Now install the forward section of the rear line labeled 05A into position. Start the threaded fitting into the ABS module by hand following the chart on screen. Start the threaded union by hand taking note of the lines to go color coded connections. Tighten the fitting at the rear flex hose using a 14mm wrench. Tighten the fitting at the ABS module using a 13mm wrench. Tighten the union using two 14mm wrenches. Secure the rear line into the plastic brackets along the frame. Next, install the right front line labeled 04A into position. Install the line labeled 04B and start the threaded union by hand.
On the passenger side of the vehicle, install the line labeled 04D into position. Start the threaded fitting into the right front flex hose. Underneath the front of the vehicle, install the line labeled 04C into position, taking note of the lines to go color coded connections. Start both unions by hand. Start the threaded fitting into the ABS module and tighten using a 13mm wrench. Tighten the fitting into the right front flex hose using a 14mm wrench. Tighten the remaining three unions using two 14mm wrenches. Secure the right front line into the plastic clips along the frame. Next, install the left front line labeled 03 into position. Start the threaded fittings into the ABS module and the left front flex hose. Tighten the fittings in the left front flex hose as well as in the ABS module using a 14mm wrench. Install the line labeled 01A into position and start the threaded fittings into the rear port of the master cylinder and the top rear port of the proportioning valve. Install the line labeled 02A into position and start the threaded fittings into the front port in the master cylinder and the top front port in the proportioning valve. Next, install the secondary line labeled 02 into position. Start the threaded fitting into the bottom front of the proportioning valve. Start the fitting into the ABS module and tighten using a 13mm wrench. Next, install the primary line labeled 01 into position. Start the threaded fittings into the ABS module and at the bottom rear port of the proportioning valve. Tighten the fitting in the ABS module using a 14mm wrench. Tighten all four fittings in the proportioning valve using a 14mm wrench. Tighten both fittings in the master cylinder using a 14mm wrench. Raise the fuel tank into position and connect the two electrical connectors once it is high enough. Continue to raise the tank into position. Install both fuel tank straps and secure them using a 15mm socket. Replace the charcoal canister into position and replace the three vent lines at the front. Secure the canister using a 13mm socket. Replace both filler tube hoses and tighten the band clamps using an 8mm socket. Connect the pressure and return lines at the top front of the fuel tank. Secure your lines to go brake lines into any remaining plastic brackets along the frame. Bleed all four wheels using a 10mm wrench making sure the master cylinder stays topped up with fluid. Install both front inner fenders and secure them using the plastic push clips along with a 7mm socket. Replace all four wheels and torque to spec using a 22mm socket. Reconnect the battery using a 5 16 of an inch wrench. This concludes the installation of brake lines on a 2003 Chev Avalanche with lines to go part number BLC-136-SS. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at linestogo.com, or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two-day shipping. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below, and we will see you on our next video.